Now, the next person that we are going to introduce to the stage is a gentleman who, his name is Tony Williams, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give Tony a hand. The original, I'm sorry, my microphone's a little loud, but that's the original T-Wheel. This building is haunted if you don't know. The original T-Wheel. Wait, they, they speak from the rafters in here. The original T-Wheel. The original T-Wheel. Is that, is that Jesus? Who is that? Who is that? Is that Jesus? Is that the original T-Wheel. Is that my conscience speaking to me right now? I don't know who that is. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Williams is a thousand point scorer at U of L. He coached three seasons at Dawes High School. Their record was 79 and 24. They didn't lose a lot of games. 79 and 24. I got a voiceover, I love it. You do. <laughs> he played 10 seasons professionally. He went to back to back Sweet 16s. And his, when he coached in high school, they produced three Division I players. We talk about producing Division I players at Aspire Academy. It's an amazing thing to do that at a high school, at a public school, without those resources. Tony's been a major part of my life. When I was at UofL, Tony came back from playing professionally overseas. He took me under his wing. I didn't have a car on campus. He drove me around, he took me places. He was the big brother I never had. I could really say a lot of things about him, a lot in detail, but they wouldn't do him enough justice because he did a lot of things for me that he never had to do. And you have to value people in life that do things for you that they never have to do. Because a lot of times in life, people don't do things they don't want to do. But Tony took care of me. He came back to the program countless times. And he gave countless, countless tales of energy and, and ways to work harder and be successful. He gave people the blueprint, or as I like to call the answers to the test. Because that's how life works. There's nothing better than somebody that prepares you for life to give you the answers to the test. So I'm not gonna keep on talking about him because I don't wanna keep you guys here, but he is one of the most amazing people in my life. Tony Williams, ladies and gentlemen. appreciate that. Um, I'm here for a few different reasons tonight. Um, first of all, without God, I don't believe I'll be anything. So I gotta give praise to God. Um, second of all, I have an amazing support system. Uh, my wife Tiffany, who is Canadian, by the way, Daniel, from Toronto. Uh, my son, uh, Simba, and my daughter, Skyla. Um, I wouldn't be here without them. I wouldn't be able to do what I do without them. Uh, another reason why I'm here is because I love the youth. I love giving back to the youth. I remember those days uh, running around uh, Market Street, uh, trying to get all the way down to Shawnee Park, trying to get to the Derrydale, then trying to get to people's uh, neighborhoods that would let me in the backyard to play basketball and just to uh, share a sandwich or something that would keep me going so I wouldn't have to go home. Because once I go home, that's, that's it. You come in, you're in. I know some of us a little bit more old school remember that. Um, so um, that's another reason why I'm here, because I love giving back. I love the youth. Um, and, and then another reason why I'm here is because I love all things Louisville. So if it's in Louisville, if it's named Louisville, if it's the University of Louisville, if it's the people that make up and don't get recognized, but put together to build what we have here in Louisville. That's what I love. So that's why I'm here. I see a lot of familiar faces in the crowd. Many people who I've shared experiences with. Um, and I thank you all uh, for being a part of my life. Uh, because, again, it takes a village. Uh, and Aspire Academy, and Jeremy Kibnis, and his father, Michael, and all the people who are putting in, uh, whether they're getting paid, whether they're not getting paid, but they see these young men and they see the, the chance and the opportunity and the opportunity to pitch in so that you can sleep better at night and say that, hey, I've done something to help and I don't need anything in return. 
and I'm one of those people. And to be honest with you, when, when I saw uh, Jeremy, um, I know Jeremy also when he was a player, I mean, when he was a manager for the university, I would come back as a player and I would go in that gym, and he'd be there and he'd be with those guys like Luke and Montrez and Gorgie. And uh, he would be one of those guys that would always run up with a smiling face offering help. So when I saw him leave to go out of the country, I followed him. I followed him on Instagram. I followed him on any platform that I could. I also had a way to text him, which obviously being that far away made it very difficult. But I saw the journey that he went on and being a person that went overseas uh, to places like Turkey, where you know it's normal, the soldiers are carrying AK-47s uh, in broad daylight or at the airport or checkpoints uh, when you're going through the city, or places like Beirut, Lebanon, to where you know a bombing, a political bombing uh, of, a, of, a, of a route that maybe soldiers go is normal. When I saw that Jeremy went to uh, Africa to fulfill his dream, I thought, what a brave and extraordinary man. First of all, I don't believe that Jeremy had to leave to pursue his dream, but he felt that he did and he did it. And I thought that was great. Then I watched them while they were in Arizona and things were going well. Uh, the, he was seemed to be doing well. But uh, when he told me and when I found out that Aspire was coming to Louisville, I started scrambling because uh, I knew in my mind that I wasn't gonna be coaching high school basketball here, at least for Jefferson County Public Schools, but I also knew that there was an opportunity to pitch in. Didn't necessarily need to get paid, and I still don't. And I don't have a role right now with Aspire Academy, but I feel like I do. And I feel like any time they make me feel like any time that I can add something to what they have to offer or to give my uh, uh, two cents to their players or their youngsters that they have, the door is always open. So that means a lot to me as well. So I don't want to take up a lot of time. I had to adjust my, my chair because if you can see, uh, Daniel Ross's chair is right there and I'm lined up with him right there in my seat. So I had to adjust my seat to make sure I'm not lined up with Daniel because I don't want to be one of those people that he thinks is somebody to go get. Right? That brother was dead serious up here. And much respect to you and your family, uh, Daniel. That was an amazing, amazing feeling. I, I, I could feel it more than I could hear it more than I could see it. It's real. So the things that he's been through are just uh, a testament to the man he is. And it's not a coincidence that he's playing with the Cowboys because that, obviously that's a tough bunch right there. He, he fits right in. So congrats to Daniel on that. And Mr. Remy, uh, it's really an honor to be amongst uh, you being honored. Uh, I am, uh, you, know, you know, I feel like I have a long way to go, to be honest. Um, you know, one of the things that before my kids go to school every morning, you know, we say it to each other, along with my wife, you know, good is good, but we're striving to be great. So I feel like, thank you. I feel like I've done some good things. I feel like I'm a, I'm a good father. I feel like I, I'm a good friend to, to some of my friends. I feel like I'm a good mortgage loan originator. But right now, no, 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 no. But what I want to say is, I, I'm still striving for greatness. I feel like I closed the chapter in basketball where I played all my life. And when I turned uh, 40 years old, I feel like I was given a new opportunity to start over and to use my brain. But the one thing, like Perrin said, is never, never will leave me is the giving back part, is to find someone that without an opportunity, without someone seeing that greatness within them, without someone taking a meal and saying, here man, here young lady, grow from this, refresh your brain, strengthen yourself. Without that, we may have a lot that goes, that gets slipped, that slip through the cracks. And there will be Daniel Rosses that won't be recognized. There will be young, young men and women like some of the gentlemen that came up here, the young man, the 14-year-old uh, young man from Australia. I commend you, young man. My son is 10 years old. And I looked at my wife when, when, when he said he was 14 years old, and I looked at my son. And that is 
truly remarkable for you to take that opportunity. So I just want to take just one second and say to all the Aspire Academy attendees, the youth, the junior wizards, this isn't a coincidence. It's not a coincidence that you all are here tonight. It's not a coincidence that you made it to Louisville, Kentucky. There's a reason, and you all have greatness within you, and you have to keep pushing. You have to keep turning over rocks. You have to keep digging. You got to get the jackhammer out. You got to keep picking at the wall until you find it. And once you find it, that's not enough. You got to keep on pushing. And then when you feel real good about yourself, you got to go find someone else that isn't there yet. And you got to give something back to them. And that's how you fulfill yourself. So when you all make it to where you heard, I'm talking to you. You're great. Continue being great. Because this city needs you to go be great and come back and find another Kurt Lewis that may not have had the opportunity and give back to them. It's necessary. So I'm just gonna end on that note and say thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Aspire. Thank you, Roger. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Parent. Thank you, Lou. So much you gave to our city. So much you still are here in Louisville giving to our city. Uh, thank you, Lupe, for welcoming my family and I. And uh, I'm just blessed and honored to be here. Very thankful. And um, that's what I have to say. This is uh, board number uh, 79, so I'm out of order a little bit, but this is a positive spark for you. You were there at Young, you brought your guys, your young guys for development. And I've watched you call, coach at Dawson. I've seen how you work with young people, and you're really a role model. Thank you, sir. So thank you for your question. Thank you.